Good evening, you lovely, lovely lot. Didn't expect to be back so soon, but here I am for another Tuesday evening madness of onesie. Um, we'll get into the reason why I'm here in a minute, just so, um, but we'll get a few people into the chat and uh, we'll say how it goes and get on what we're, what, where and what we're doing today. So let's so just make sure the stream's running okay. We all seem to be good. Brilliant. So, here we are, back on onesie again. Um, change of plan, just due to the schedule with Tom's work and tomorrow we have a bit of a channel, just an evening off. We said the schedule is always subject to change, just with a bit of flexibility built in. Anyway, I've jumped on as a sub tonight just to help Tom out because he didn't get back from work till late. So here I am, but tomorrow we'll be having a night off. So this is your Wednesday show today, basically. So um, yeah, we'll... Um, Get into the reasons why and everything else. We are back in boredom tonight. Um, was going to do a Lincolnshire, but after last night, my legs are, you're going to laugh, but my ankles are still a little bit sore on the air brake pedal, so I could do with just um, or somewhere, a map I can sort of pull over, have a couple of minutes rest here and there, and just sort of chill out, really. So that's where we are. Anyway, good evening, Carl. Good evening, Gemma. Welcome to the uh, stream. Oh, you've had a cracking Tuesday. Hope oh, everyone is well. We are on board tonight, the Go North East Street Deck. And this is actually a proper street deck, this one, not like the Gen 3 that we had the other day. This is official Gen um, B5 street deck, um, proper with the glass um, down the side. You can tell it's a street deck with a glass staircase, and it rattles and rumbles like the proper street decks do as well. So. Um, we're on board tonight, Go North East in this uh, the poppy livery which it wears all year round. This is actually based on a real vehicle and it is also a street deck in real life. This is fleet number 6333. Um, registration on this one is Bravo November 19 X ray Tango Oscar. I don't think it's the right reg plate though, um, from the top of my head. But this is something I run around Newcastle, I think. Goes around the different depots throughout when it's like memorial season, but it is basically it tends to be based out of Gateshead most of its life. So, so well, um, a new livery pack that we installed at the weekend, which had X line liveries and different ones for the street decks, and this was part of it. So, when I saw it, I thought we'd just jump on this tonight. So, we jumped on board the actual vehicle livery on this standard air uh, going northeast livery, and now I call it the wooden floor textures with the air. Uh, but you could say like the 2000 and current 19 livery. You know, I do like a good northeast vehicle being a northeast boy. So, yeah, we are on this tonight. Good evening, Max. Welcome to the stream. Don't think you'll be here long, but welcome. Um, hope you had a great day. So, yeah, we are on board the street there. We'll have a quick look around it. Um, obviously, you can see the different. Remembering all who served and sacrificed and changed our world. Thank you from going north east. It's a nice touch of that. So obviously we'll be using this livery later in the year, but it's it does wear this livery all year around this particular bus. Um, go around the other side, more or less the same. Whoop, behind the wall, it will help. Um, fleet numbers there. So let's jump on board. Um, what else have we got on this? I'm trying to look. Anything in there? No, nothing there. Go northeast staircase glass on the air glass there. We're going up to the staircase. There's a nice textured bus. This got okay, mate. They've done a nice um, thing. This master of such studios, which is the creator. This is a payware bus again, part of the street deck pack that you do get. You can get it for about six quid at the moment. CDK. So yeah, um, we're on board this tonight. Believe me, care about the stream, mate. Just a quick stop tonight and got half an hour before. Family visit and hope you're well, Kev. So let's jump on board. Let's get this thing fired up. Usual thing for the electrics. Being a street deck, it won't probably perform well, but we'll, I mean, it's been a while since I used one of these actually on this game. Oh, hang on. Is that the only way to start because the doors are open? There we go. Learned something new there. So hang on. I knew it. Come on, behave yourself. Is it in neutral? Right. Ah, there we are. 
just to interrupt, uh, just to build the pressure up, I've learned this now. Give it a quick rev just to build the air pressures up. Street right bus engine check. All right, cool. We're good. Good for pressures. Let's stick this thing in drive. Pop some lights on the yeah, scenario. Get our tablet up. As all the rattles and uh, rolls of a proper street that this. Um, so we're doing four, five, nine minutes there. Down to the business park, Knock Hill business park. So let's get, yeah, that's fine. Let's look at a quick look at our timetable. Oh. Oh, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Where are we at? It's there. So we'll do what we at 13 points. So let's get our ticket machine logged in. Usual standard way. Yeah, that's fine. I've got my tickets to scan down here. That's cool. Right, and then Ah, that's with our thing on. Let's get rid of that. Let's get pulled around to the stand where we need to be. Let's get that switched on. It's been a while since I did this one, so let's come set up. So yes, I hope everyone's well this Tuesday. Evening. I was going to say Wednesday there. Wednesday on the brain. Yeah, so uh, it's weird being here on Tuesday. Um, just filling in for Tom while he's just been there back from work. So I thought it'd be a short stream than normal because it is a weird night for me because I've got a busy morning tomorrow, so I've got to be up early. But I thought we'll give you something tonight. This will be a Wednesday sort of stream. Then we'll go back to Lincolnshire first thing next week and I'm jump back on London, of course, because that seemed to be really well. Hope you enjoyed London last night. Something a little bit different. Um, and we normally do so, what the time is that? It's 13 21 now. What time we go up here? It's uh, we need to take note of these things. 13 and 40. So let's just skip the time. Uh, 13 22. Let's get that forward a couple of minutes. You can hear vibrate, and that was like a proper street deck, does as well. Brilliant. So let's skip that time forward. Let's get our destination set up. Okay, it's on. Make sure that loads up now our destination screens. Yeah, oh, it's quite far away. Just wanted to double check that was okay. There we are. So, anybody who's just joined us, this is what we're on tonight. We are on board the Go North East proper street deck this one you can tell is a street deck with the full blast staircase and all the rattles and rumbles of a street deck welcome mark on the stream yesterday was a try and brilliant i'm glad you enjoyed it would certainly be coming back in the very near future and we're not far from the tfl stuff today with boredom so we've gone a little bit in my territory today um on board this going off the street deck which it wears in the popularity, which it wears all year round. Um, get a better view of it. There we are. This is what I'm bored tonight. Oh, these games don't tell me crap. No. Oh, what the heck is this game doing? The night we're moving around the view is right over there. Oh, not this one. So, yeah, this is what we're on board tonight. It's very cool. It's based on a real thing. In the going off East fleet, it is fleet number 6333. Um, based out the gates, I think this vehicle is at the moment, it tends to go around the different depots around about November time, October time, given the nature of delivery. But yeah, this is what we're on board tonight. Right busified again, so same maker as the um, MBFL that we were on last night. But this hope, I think this just looks a little bit better, to be honest with you. Hopefully it'll handle better. Um, nice delivery on this, do enjoy going off these two, some nice deliveries. Standard going off east interior with the wooden floors and the what you could say the new corporate standard seat spec. And then it says on the back, look, 
Remember that all who have served and sacrificed and changed our world. Thank you. Go northeast. You yeah. mean I go northeast? Why you know I do like it's not like this. Oh, it's shut itself down. Thank you, right, bus. You do build like, excellent quality buses these days. They like to shut themselves down. It's because we're sat here with the engine and it doesn't like it. So let's give it a full reboot. Right. Are you going to switch on? <laughs> there we are. Thank you. So, yeah, I hope you're all well. This, um, I, can't, I keep forgetting what day of the week we It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Keep reminding me on, please. So, let's look at that. So, I like this. Is, uh, I like these e ticket earth machines. So, 1336, and we've dry a point. So, let's get that time for a few more minutes just and we can get an hour away. Right, that'll do two minutes, that gives us two minutes to load up and then so I'll uh, get now Mary where let's get our tablet, don't need that again. So yeah, typical bus with auto cut out. I know never mind, it's that eco stuff in it I, I guess we're gonna get used to these days. Show destinations come back on. Yeah, brilliant. I do it does rattle and roll this one like the proper street decks do as well. So it's, when is the new master uh, is the new master on of urban driving? This is a great looking bus. Looks like a Brussels Airlines livery. It's a nice livery. The Golden North East do some really cool liveries. Their X Line liveries, which are part of this pack, which I will do in the future, look absolutely stunning. Um, especially on a Citaro or something like that, Mercedes Citaro, which we do have, which I also bring in. I've got a red line to so bring you. Good evening, Jack Rollins. The my Omzi advisors in the house. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're well, Jack. Um, this has just had another update on it as well. Um, because I've had a few issues with it the weekend, so it, it's had a new second update. I think B2 is out now, patched. So that's all patched up today. So I did a few test runs earlier on it. It seems to be working fine again. So hope you're well, Jack. I'm um, on a cracking Tuesday. Um, yeah, what's this? It's not where I am, Mark. It's maybe it's go to London, I'm not sure. Typical, but I think Boredom is Medway, right? Cool. It's Boredom part of London. It, this is in real life. On the, it says on the map, this is a fictional map based on the outskirts of London, but um, the guys down there might be advise me better. Again, it's not a t somewhere I tend to live, so I can't be advising that. So we've got a minute till we drop, so let's get these doors shut, ready for going. And then we'll get on our merry way down to uh, the business park. Right, door shut. Door shut. Yeah. I knew it was going to do that. I'm just a little cut out to do yet, didn't I? Give a bit of a rev to get the. Right, let's get going, 1340. So yeah, welcome to the stream everybody, hope everyone's on a cracking tubes there. It's the first time I've driven this um, street deck for a while. Um, I tend to always go, if I'm going to drive a street deck, uh, one of the right buses, double deckers, it tends to be the Gen 3. I just think it's a better looking bus overall. and narrow down here. Also, evening Lee, welcome to the stream here. Welcome to the stream. Hope oh, you had a cracking Tuesday. Oh, does she want a ticket, dear? What do you want? Two pound ticket, adult. There you go. Typical, she gives me a ten pound note. The award, thank you. There's your change. I do like these e-tickets as well, they're brilliant little machines, I've got to admit. We're on board tonight, I said the street deck, this is a proper street deck, this one. Doesn't sound as throaty as the uh, Gen 3, it sounds more, sorry, louder than Gen 3's do, which is odd, given these are a later model as well. Definitely got the rattles and vibrations of a street deck, though. Let's get a speed down.
Hope everyone, it, what just so? What's everyone's Tuesday been like today? My mind's been totally blank there. What have you been up to? You been at work, off work, or college? Whatever you've been up to, put it in the chat. You know the usual questions. Uh, anybody who's just joined us, um, we are on board, not the wall. Uh, I won't stop playing Handy Ball Seek. Um, we're on board this Go North East Street Deck in the Remembrance Delivery, which it wears all year round on board fleet number 633. This bus does exist in real life based out at Gateshead. Something that I haven't actually spotted yet because it would be in a Gateshead vehicle, the tends to stay on Gateshead route, but it does get passed around the depots around the uh, November time. Oop, I knew that was going to happen, you have quite a night. There we are. It's not the smoothest vehicle this one to drive in the world, and like the Gen 3, I find the Gen 3 is just a fast smooth uh, drive than this one is. What happened to, no happened to Knock Hill? It's a business park, I think. Um, you go through, it's a big business park, I'll we'll show you when we get there. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, Yeah, um, last time we went there it was a business park, if I remember rightly. And like, I know what Jack Rowland's thinking, this is maybe a single decker route. I know it is. I realised that after, but it gets that busy, I think it requires a double decker. If you ignore one minor thing. It's not a bad drive, this. It, it's sort of not as good as the uh, Gen 3s, so I don't think, will have to drive this. I just think the Gen 3 has a fast move there, uh, sort of driving style about it. This seems to rattle and shake itself. Typical right bus load. Probably people picking bits up as you go driving down the road. Oh, lights have been kind. That was the first time we've uh, run the lights for a while. Right. Oh. Network rail down there. Ooh. Sort that out. Right, there we are. Does he live in a, does he live stream time? Maps make sure you're not being light and you're not being light in the clouds. Oh the what? What's this? Let's hope there's no railway <laughs> real, real bridges. Spit high a lot. What's it? I've never operated to knock hills. It's only during on weekends or so no business service. Ah, good point. I said it rattles and shakes itself. The street deck like the real thing does. So. This is just a, for me, it's just a double decker street light street deck, isn't it, really? In theory. Where the Gen 3 is a proper, you could say, double decker of the Eclipse, which is a heavy duty single, uh, single decker. Now let's keep the speed down, so now we do have a bus stop down here on our left. Evening, Jim. Welcome to the stream, mate. Hope you're well. Anybody is just joining us. We are on board today. The Go North East Street Deck. This is a proper street deck, as you can tell, with the staircase, which is all glass down the side of it. Go North East Vehicle 633, based on the real vehicle, which is based at Gator Depot. The standard interior. And we do have next up destination screens working as well, which is quite cool. So. This is what we're on board tonight. Back on board and do that and out. Thank you. Not too with the horn for that. That's a pathetic horn if there's ever one. Right, let's get motoring. It's rotting itself like a proper right bus load. Build quality from right bus these days. They used to be such a good manufacturer, but never mind. Get speed down. 
doesn't feel as like well put like when you're driving it um the gen 3 feels really sort of anchored to the road this seems to float a little bit more as a sort of floaty feeling it's definitely like driving the street like this though it has the same sort of driving experience evening girl onto the stream hope you're well for a cracking tuesday right is she not want to take it cold let's get one should we clear it on our side? Got a load of liveries installed now though, for um, delivery choices and stuff. Oop, wrong one. Right one. So yeah, we're back on single door operations today. As for doors gold and that multi 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 um doors, thank god. Even though it was fun to drive the MBFL, I think we'll do, I don't know what time, I think we'll do a single decker next time on London, uh, maybe the E200, or the MCC200. But next week I'm going to do something for the Scottish lad, we've got some McGill's livery stuff to use. Stunning looking livery, so we're going to have a McGill's day, with the East MCC200, the, the Scania MCC400 and an Octar Solo, or maybe it's the Yorkshire or something, and um, we'll be having a Scottish um, evening with the McGill's and um, so yeah we'll be doing that one day next week I think potentially Monday we'll have a McGill's in the evening because them liveries are stunning on them um, CC 200s and the 400s even though Tar Solo scrubbed up well to be fair so we're going to have a Scottish themed evening for the different liveries that we've got for them so that'll be Monday um, Back on Monday, I'm not sure when it will it potentially be. In, it could be next week, but I'd like to do Lincolnshire and Yorkshire next week. It's just I haven't touched on the map really as such compared to all the maps. So I think in Lincolnshire, Mon um, Lincolnshire Monday with the McGill stuff, and then Scotland. Oh, sorry, the Scottish stuff on Yorkshire on Monday. Get it right, Wayne, with the McGill stuff for Yorkshire, and then uh, Lincolnshire on Wednesday for a little bit of stagecoach drive action with the low line delivery. Um, or something a bit special. There's that much in the army now, it's just hard to choose. And there's even the West Country, I've got some nice route branded buses now for the West Country map as well, the first bus, which is nice. Um, route branded all for the 36s and stuff, which would be nice to use as well at some point, but it's a, there's plenty of choice now we've got. Also, I've got a shed load of deliveries for the uh, street light as well. Which is quite cool. A um, lot of going off these ones, a reaver. Um, so when we get more memory, I'm going to be adding more, even more stuff in. So, uh, and then looking at and then potentially another new map. What the hell? Is this bus just going to crawl mode or something? Come on. Fair. I don't know what was going on there. It just seemed to stop getting up to speed. It's because it was going up a hill. Who am I, neck? Pillar drive in there. Good. There we are. Also, I've got some new buses to use as well in the form of Mercedes Titaro. And um, we've got the MAM back on, which was a beauty to drive, really smoothly using that later on. Also, I've got a gas bus now to use based on the um, Riva Northeast um, MAN Eco Cities up here, which is quite cool. So I'm looking forward to bringing that as well, so, so much. And the PC goes away for its final upgrade, either this week or next weekend, so I'll, I'll get that confirmed as well when I know what's happening. Just playing spotting at the moment on the same. Mark's got outside and touch grass, mate. There's a bigger world out there than just the fight sim. Yeah, I was thinking the same there, trust me, the multi door exists on London buses. I've got it. I was going to say, yeah, for but lo um, loading times and stuff, a single door just wouldn't be practical in London, no way would it. I'm surprised, I mean, I've gone down, I mean, they tried bendy buses in London, didn't they, which were a complete flop, which given the narrow streets of London, you can understand why. 
Um, I mean, the European cities seem to get them to work, bendy buses. Um, here, we just seem to sort of now ditch the whole bendy bus um, idea completely. And um, we've gone back, I mean, we had bendy buses up here for the Gateshead um, X66, the Metro Centre Shuttle. The Scania Fusions that they had were right bus were absolutely superb they were but then they brought Mercedes Towers or the London ones and uh, they were just a complete absolute flop it's a shame though because I do like the Mercedes Tower though uh, in real life so got a soft spot for that livery in general and um, the buses as well I mean when we had them here and uh, we're going off east they were superb vehicles just had this knack of combusting in the flames as well especially the Mark 1 gens did so do you see me get on top? Whoa, what's going on there? Uh, Omdi being Omdi, cheers Omdi, just, just throw a load. Of, yep, okay. Thanks for that. Appreciated. Cheers for that. Appreciated that. Good night. Throw that in the middle of the game, why don't you? Besides the load of, I think it was loading up a load of uh, things, wasn't it? So you an adult single day. There you go. Five, six, seven, thank you. They used to have bendy buses on the 436 on London and I kind of miss them. Yeah, I just don't, I think the idea was great. The idea was superb to have bendy buses on London, but just the, t the streets which are too narrow to be able to accommodate them, weren't they, on a lot of the routes. I mean, the European cities seem to cope a lot better with bendy buses, so. I mean, I don't know if Scotland's still got them, Jim, up there. Up in Glasgow, I had them on point. Edinburgh had them. Are they still up there? They got rid now. Um, I remember Scotland had the Scania's as well. Uh, was it Scania Fusions they had? Um, with the right bus bodies on um, up in Scotland. You also got some of the um, X First Park and Ride ones from York as well. That just come, I think they've just headed up to Scotland as well. One of the most unusual bendy buses I ever, well, variants, was the coaches that they brought up into Scotland. Um, the bendy bus 10 Volvo 10 BMs that they did. What a only bendy coach I've ever seen in real life. Any plans to bring some footy games to the channel soon? Nope, I don't do footy games. Max, and I certainly wouldn't be using Gillingham even if I was. So get that one out of your head. I'm, I'm going to use I'm going to use football. Yeah, guys, it's a good idea. Actually, let's bring a football game with with a wheel and pedals and say we'll have football, car football, or bus football, or something. I don't know. I give up some days. I really do. Max, go outside and actually kick a football. There might be a start. All right. Got next stop. Definitely rattles like a proper street deck, this one. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know we like to mix our st um, sims up, but I think uh, football's stretching it. First, had a ball, ball B7 L Eclipse, Fusions and Glasgow Stagecoach at the 10 BMA, Plaxton, Premiers, Interurbs, and Jockneers. I remember them, yes. Easy win, don't want to get told we're doing something we're not yet. There's mm. a point. Mm. If you know, you know. Uh, I give up. Eesh. Uh, yeah, it's right like, really, like a good old street deck, this one. I remember you had also the triaxle, um, even the Sarah went into the stream. Um, I remember you also had the triaxle ELC tridents, didn't you? Whatever they were called in there. Is it, was it Glasgow Adams, Jim? First Glasgow? Um, the triaxle uh, ELC tridents, or were the tridents? Um, I remember them in the first Barbie livery, um, which were quite unusual to um, the UK. I think it was only potentially Scotland that 
or that potential depot that had them in the UK, they were quite a rare vehicle. The more like something you see in Hong Kong, to be fair, but we had them. I think it was Glasgow that had them, wasn't it? Love the TFL bus shelters, yeah. The, it, a lot of the um, London scenery has been used on this one. That's why I needed the, the London add-ons to actually get some more of them to work. This is more like sort of what I call suburban-y though, isn't it? Than London, uh, London's all city driving. I'm trying to think what they're called now, them um, ELCs. Wow, they were based up in them. Sure, Glasgow had them. Borden just looked like Lucian. Ah, right, cool. Oh, you get. Did you want to be off here, did you? If not, why are you passing the door? Well, good passengers. Something like in my jacks here, it's a green van or something. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think what Tridents were called. I called them Tridents, the ELC ones. Um, but they weren't. I'm sure they were, some, they were called something else. Millenniums, perhaps? Millennium somethings? I'm trying to think what they're called. Ooh. One, are you going? Are you letting me? No, no, because if I pull forward, you're going to hit me, so one. I'm going to do this without hitting the curbs. Let's just tie it this. I can't see that mirror, which is not great. There we are, we're out. I'm trying to think of unusual bus combos now in the UK that we've had. Uh, I'm sure Southwest Trains had some where uh, they used to have uh, real person service and shuttle buses on either white for festivals. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I can image them in my head. If you Google it, let me know. Because obviously, I, um, first triaxle double deckers in Glasgow. I'm trying to think when they, um, I think obviously they're, they've gone now. They also had the MCC um, 300s as well. Um, and triaxle versions. Um, I know obviously Lothian have some um, as well, but first had some as well, mixed up with the uh, ELC ones. First class ball triaxles were World War B7. Uh, that's the one Nordic ones, that's the one I can think of. Nordic, yes, that's the one I'm thinking of. They were superb buses they were to look at. I don't like to ride on, but to definitely look at. Don't worry, I'm going the right way. But this is the first time anyone's seen this part of the map. This is like a pedestrianised zone where had buses going through it. And I'll look at a section like this. So keep our uh, speed down. The usual part of the route, this is the only sort of time on the map we do this, actually. Quite cool this bit, I mean, it's quite one of my favorite parts of the map this, just because it's so quirky. Lights of hell, nice. What's that we've got in there? What's that? A number 800 going Knock Hill shuttles. A little MCC 200 mini. Alright. That's the ones, yes, uh, they were superb looking vehicles, those um, Nordics. They were really were, so sort of quirky. I'm just trying to think of some unusual bus combinations that we've had in the UK. Lothian has a fleet of tracks, of all B8 LESs with ADL and Viro 400 MCC XLB bodies on them. That's the ones I was thinking, Jim. Superb knowledge as always. I'm trying to think of some of the unusual combos that we've had. I remember TFL's uh, electric, the first electric buses they had were right bus bodies. They didn't last two minutes. They were the massive um, pods on the roof. Um, you could say the, the MANs up here are a bit of a rare combo. The MAN Eco Cities with the gas powered uh, things, I think there's only us in Runcorn that has them. Um, I think there's a fleet of them in now. They used to be Norwich buses, but I think they've ended up in Plymouth now. Um, I mean, any close to east. There is, a, I think, only now as well, um, because Stage has got um, something that fares in them out. Um, looks like the gas 
MCC 300, uh, sorry, Enviro 200, uh, it's right now, is it? Yeah, Enviro uh, 200s, or is it 300s? Think. Enviro 300s gas powered, looks like they're getting rid of them now in Sunderland that stopped them. Um, sorry, and they're heading, passing them down, oh, uh, where are they going now? Nottingham, Nottingham, that's it then, Nottingham Transport now. So that's an unusual combination. The um, MC, you don't see many of our 300 gas buses, other than if you're in one of those two or three places. Another unusual combo, and they came from Scotland, we got them at Newcastle for a little bit, was the Scania Omni Triaxles. The Omni Lynx, were they called? Were they uh, triaxles? Um, we got them at Sunderland for. Um, it came during the pandemic, total capacity issues when. Um, the, uh, when you have see social distancing thing became a thing on buses um, they came down from Kilmarnock I think it was um, those on your links with triaxles not many of them in the UK either um, another unusual combination there's been some um, interesting when you think about it Seems to be throughout time though, I mean, I remember Leyland National Bendy Buses going back in the day, uh, based at, where was it, who had them? Was it Yorkshire Traction that had them? For the um, Sheffield, for the um, Metro Centre version of, um, oh, I'm trying to think what the shopping centre's called now, Trafford Centre was it? Um, Yorkshire Traction had some. Um, Bendy and Dale and Nationals, those Omni Links which just looked odd for some reason, they were Perth and Dundee, ironically. Not many MAN NLs, 2 F3 Fs around, right? Bus, that's the air, that's a good part, a good shout, Jim. And I remember, what was the other ones that you had up there? They were right bus bodied, cut, they were like a, in an urban coach style thing, they were had the Eclipse Smart One front panels on them. But they were like a sort of urban -y coach style um, thing. They were up in Scotland as well. Um, they weren't like a full on coach, but there was something like half a half. Um, trying to think what they were called now, I can vision them in, in my head. Stagecoach had them. Only place that had them as well. I think there's one still possibly um, kicking around the aisles of the sh uh, ferry shuttles. Um, I'm trying to think what they were called now. It's got an app it's on my head. I know this normally, it's just when you concentrate on that many different things, they were the Lynn Diabetics, the Lynn National Lynn Bodies, that when they were using national panels, they were actual. They were actually nationals, wow! I didn't know that. I remember that one of them came to uh, United and Freedoms, it was parked in Freedoms for a little while as a demo bus. It never got used at all by United. Um, it was just purely. It was. It was, must have been doing its rounds of the depots at the time. And I remember getting snapping that as a kid, parked up at feet and the um, demonstration. Apparently, there's a couple in preservation still of those. It's just an interesting combination to kicking around. You could say the Scanyomi City Arctic's as well were quite um, rare. There was a Cardiff had them. Um, or else had them? Yeah, I think it was uh, Cardiff, and I think first had a couple, didn't they, kicking around? Yeah, I'm not sure those gem bendy buses were served in North Yorkshire. Just gonna look there, catch up the comments. Lothian buses outstanding company, miss them loads. In the uni days at Edinburgh, brilliant. Just catching up the comments there, guys. Just having a look through else there. Uh, anything I missed? Sorry, guys. There were bendy buses that we used at the bus station at Meadow Hall. That's the ones, Gemma. Weren't they used on the, um, what's that shopping centre, guys, uh, you've got called? It's like over your version of the Metro Centre, is it Meadow Hall? It is the Meadow Hall, isn't it? The shopping centre. Used on the shuttles, weren't they? A bit like um, the capacity, um, Yorkshire Traction, was it, had them? Um, was it Mainline? With one of the two. Um, I think it didn't last long when Stagecoach took them over, to be fair. I think by the time 
they were nationalised anyway into a operator anyway. To be honest, I think they're already past their best. Plaxton Primo, there's an unusual bus for you. Small bus, very small bus. Um, I think it was about uh, 18 seats, maybe, on it. Um, they were absolute sheds. Um, not many of them lasted either. Um, well, we got scrapped very early on as well. One of the most, one of the most ugliest booking buses in the world, Paxton Primo. Um, her, I actually had the pleasure of getting on one once because they were used on the dart on the dart, local dial service as a demo. Absolute sheds. And all right, but another right coach you mean there were only four built stagecoach had two of them i can't remember the name of them now i can visit it in my head yeah they had lifts didn't they for wheelchairs at the front bays metal hall aka metal hell right so let's get going yeah it's unusual when you get digging through the archives Love this sort of conversation, especially with sort of keeping it on theme, aren't we, in the stream? I know if anybody who's not interested in buses, I apologise. And you're probably thinking, what the heck are we talking about? Normal service will resume on Thursday with a flight sim, don't worry. This is your Wednesday stream. You don't know what I'm doing on today. Tom um, got back from work quite late. He's got, and we've just changed the schedule around a little bit. I'm going to do it tonight instead of tomorrow. We're going to have a bit of a break tomorrow. Then we're back on Thursday for the flight sim. And then, on, um, like I said, we'll just work from there, really. If I'm back with Omzi before Monday, I'm back. If I'm not, this is your um, Omzi serving till Monday. But we'll uh, let you on you, of course. Anybody who's joining us, we are on board the right bus street deck. If we go northeast, remember instead of delivery, which it gets. Ooh! ooh. Just managed to get that around before he came around. My pop going around there a bit too quick. Been around there three times then, not a single car, and then it's the first time I come on stream. Getting a bit too confident there, with nobody being there. Just trying to think of, I'm just trying to think of unusual combinations. This is a good conversation because anybody who knows will know what we're talking about. I'll bus right over to Jack C's, stage coach MCC, but look so it. Keep the speed down up. 30, yeah, there we go. Well, into, um, I think this is what this is called. This is Granite, is it Gran, Gran Moor or something, this one? I do like this route on this map, it's one of my favourites. You get them like an unusual combination going through that, like, patronised bit. And been some. I remember what, trying to think what's in. Well, most unusual buses tend to get preserved, don't they? Because there's only one or two of them ever probably ever potentially ever built. And then we have this forward, right forward, and all the MTC problems there. Mark, I'm going to avoid at all costs. Just catch up there. What's the metal? I mean, I like the metro center, so I'm guessing it's very similar to that, is it? Oh, sorry guys, I didn't see you getting off there. Ch check my cameras more often. Anybody who's just joining us is what we're on board tonight, not a wall. We're on board the MCC. No, I'm not. We're on board the street deck. Sorry, I'm looking at the MCC 200 behind us. We're on board a right bus street deck. There's a proper street deck, this one you can tell with the full stair glass partition on the staircase. We're going go northeast. Uh, remember to stay there, breathe this bus exists in real life. Um, based at Gateshead, so, and it's based on the street, the actual street deck it's based on, so which is quite cool. Right, let's get moving. To uh, the business park, here we go. I think, any more usual combinations? You could say the solo narrow bodied uh, mini was. Because there wasn't many of them built either. It was built. They were built mainly for first for the Cornwall villagers to get through the tight, twisty, narrow bits. And um, I don't think many of that combination ever really existed um, in real life. 
Um, and it was sort of a quirky, there was such a quirky little um, solo they were. I think handled about, what, 12 people and many baby solos. Um, there might be some up in Scotland potentially for the narrow type twisty narrow bits. Um, we were looking through the archives and we were talking about solos being a call um, just the other day because I did the solo stream on the Thursday day and it was amazing to think the Optar solo actually got shipped right around the world and Carl sent me a picture of an Optar solo in I think it was America with it all proper America fired up with the uh, thing on the front with the bikes and stuff it was a uh, it was cool to see. It really was. I think they've been shipped right around the world as well. Now built in the UK. Nice wide entrance into this um, junction. And quite it tightens up quite sharpish on you. Should have indicated. You should have gone off there when I indicated there. I don't know why you know. Quite a narrow bit it's actually for a decker, but we'll go with it. These are all getting impatient, right? There's quite a bit, there's still a little bit to go yet before we get to the business now. Double doors, that was the one call, yes. Um, I tell you, what, I remember seeing Leland Titan and for New York open toppers as well. Good evening, Jessica, welcome to the stream. Hope you're well and you're having a cracking Tuesday. Um, hope you're having a great evening. We are on board the street deck tonight, as you can hear it vibrating like a good one. You can tell it's the right bus. Just definitely feel like a street light to drive though, just with a friggin' second deck on this one does. You know you're in a double decker, but it feels like, like when you've been driving a street light, it's very much very similar to it. The style of where it rattles and shakes itself. Like with the Gen 3s, it just feels so much more smoother and quieter, where this seems to sort of rattle itself and want to shake itself to pieces. See what you can make with junctions like vibrating itself to death. This is narrow, this bit here. Right, welcome to, um, not kill business part. This is our drop off point. Get this in as far as I took this up to the curb side of it. There we are. That's that run done. So we've got two late, two late. Sod off. Nine minutes late. I, that's within ten minutes. Right, window. I'll take that. Thank you very much. I wasn't speeding. Everybody who's just joined us, we're on Jessica tonight. We're going on East Remembrance Day, if you could call it. Um, remember who served and sacrificed and changed our world. Thank you, going on East. Um, obviously, nice delivery. This bus exists in real life and is in this delivery all year round with a uh, lot of mission sticker on the front. But on the back, just to remember that, about, obviously, Newcastle's Euro Laws is a Euro 6 version, as you can tell by the sticker. The full glass. Participation, participation, partition, which means it's definitely a full on street deck. This one, and then with a nice wide front windows. So, yeah, it's a nice, it could look and bust that, I've got to admit. It's got the standard Go Northeast interior with the wooden floors and the what I call corporate Go Northeast interior now. Right, we'll have a couple minutes here and then we'll uh, head back down. Hey, oh, switch off because I know it'll switch off anywhere. I love how Borden Council states up like straight out of the East Berlin. <laughs> love it. Nine minutes is nothing compared to the usual buses here. I always call the 10 minute window. If you're under the 10 minute window, you don't, you're alright. 
I'm happy with that. I'm still with him in nine. I, what I've called the ten minute window. You should have seen the service I did. Um, when was it? I was doing some testing, and it was on the. Uh, my God, it was twenty five minutes late. I left on time as well, bearing in mind. So, oh, I'm uh, and I wasn't driving slowly. I just got stuck on every single red light and traffic jams everywhere. Because when we're not streaming, I turn the traffic AI levels up to more realistic levels, and you get stuck in traffic. Right, Kev, you take care, mate. Have a good evening. To see you soon. Yeah, so it's it's an interesting. Okay, um, here's one here then. Interesting delivery combinations. Can anyone think of anything? Look at those guys there. Well, perhaps when a company's been took over by another company and so sort of vice versa. Good evening, Dogwood. Sorry if I missed you earlier on. Welcome to the stream, mate. We've just seen you pop up there. My apologies. Hope you're well, dude. Um, all right, let's get let's check our destination to change back to the return journey, which is um, Hereford Bus Station. There we are. Get that screened up, ready for our return journey. Click out of that. So we need to get a new timetable up. That's fine. So we'll just leave that there for a minute or so, or we'll just have two minutes chill. Just be letting that go on, Max. Keeps going off every time. Pausing and going. What keeps what? I'm grateful for a bus turn. So, yeah. Oh, is it that bad where you live? Is it Gemma? Um, are you sort of which company are you under, Jessica? Then, um, are you served by first stage coach or Reba? Where I'm live with this, uh, with the Reba. What I will do towards the end, I'll go through some of the new bits that we've got to play with in the near future as well, just to give you a bit of a re wrap in case I don't see you again before next week. So, let's get our timetable up um, for our return journey. That's okay, I've changed that way and remember you've done that, so I'm getting all my old age forgetful. Right, so, turn this heavy for bus station up. No, let me see what one is it. Turn it up. Concentrate, boy. concentrate, boy. Hereford station, that's the one. That's fine. Turn with you out then. Joe here at 1445 and it is 1417. So we'll get the mid bus moved around to the other side where we need to be and then we'll um, get the cut this. So let's move it. Let's go. Let's just get it forward a few minutes. There's a couple of minutes to get around the other side then. Right, let's get this thing started back up. Right, let's get rid of that. Right. Come on, are you going to start up? Or do I have to do a full shutdown? This is why I hate switching right buses off, because they never want to start back up again. Uh oh. Right, full reset then. <laughs> Typical right bus. That's better. All I wanted to do was get a start the engine back up. Cheers. There we are. Put that back in drive. Let's get it moving around to our opposite side. Quite tight this bit as well around here. Quiet run then to start off with. The people stood there before, they all disappeared. You knew I was coming, I think. So like wind's driving, no thanks, I'll uh, walk. I mean, in D2AS East Lang connects with definitely a rare beast. Only got one, only one got built and was it eight minute, meters high. You could not stand up the right upstairs. And the main thing, the headroom was very limited. Wow. Where was that um, base that then, if you, um, Jim? I could take 10 minutes work out, but no problem. Our Sheffield tram's good. Yeah, run by stagecoach, aren't they, Gemma? Just um, Sheffield tram stagecoach and first, and travel a lot for work. Ah, right, okay, Jessica. I think he's got problems, Tom, might need 24 hours to figure it out, says <laughs> Duckwood. <laughs> Oh dear, Max is gone for the first time tonight. Good night, sweet dreams. 
These are how we are. Um, always get the tram here, it's more reliable. We barely have it. I know the new electric buses are coming in, aren't they? Um, as well, around places at the moment. Um, we haven't got any up here at the moment. We've got the gas powered ones uh, back in 2013, but um, electric buses are definitely certainly making a big hit. Um, I know Go North East have got the, oh, what they're called now, mine's got totally blank, I know which ones they are as well. Um, Humogs, is it? Humog? Uh, Humogs? Um, Japanese ones or Chinese built electric buses. Um, shut up before you switch your engines off. Um, Umogs, is it electric Umogs? I think Nottingham have just got some, Cardiff have just got some. And I'll tell you what, I was reading somewhere, Cardiff bus have just picked up a rare beast. Two MAN, um, it's got sashes on them as well. They were a very rare beast. Only two in the UK of them as well, talking about rare buses. Uh, Cardiff bus. They were saying that they've just picked up two very rare uh, MANs. Now I can't remember what, um, it was something about the sashi and the body combo as well. Spotters are going to go mad with them at Cardiff at the moment, to try and see if they can get them. Sheffield Super Tram just being taken over just recently. Mark only just got three routes here. Sheffield doesn't uh, do cover the whole city. Wow. Interesting thing. We have trams a bit south of London, which are a little more widespread. No, but for air cons, it is my experience of tram at West Grove. Air cons, my, yeah. Um, the thing is with tram networks, we they were used to be very widely UK, weren't they? At one point, and um, part of the whole let's strip rails up um, either came in and thought yeah, roads were the best solution, buses and motorways. And now I think we're sort of reverting back on ourselves a little bit, aren't we? Especially after the beaching era, where he seemed to just want to rip every single rail up and that was going. It was just um, I'm not going to go into politics because there's a whole po lot of politics. Um, it's, Thing, but it's gonna shut the doors and the engine just to keep the air things switching on. Carl, it's gone from stagecoach running it to South, I've been around by South Yorkshire Memorial Authority. And so you've got people in in Doncaster Pan for it. That MAN Connect Decker and the service with Reading buses initially. Alright. Ah, as much as a, a, a value buses to urban areas that totally get a good option. We up here, where are they? We get, we're covered by the number seven. Um, it's a Sapphire, it used to be Sapphire branded, but now it's gone back to, I think, Standard Arena now. And um, that runs between Durham and Darlington and connecting up. Uh, the likes of Ferry Hill, smaller towns on the route to Durham and then into Darlington. Great during the day, but getting anywhere by evening and on Sunday is a bit of a nightmare. Though they have just gone in every half an hour on a Sunday. It used to be once an hour each direction, still not ideal. You take your chances if you go anywhere after 8 o'clock by bus, if they're going to turn up or not. Uh, it is not the most reliable service in the world either. Um, which is sad, which is a bit of a pain. Right, just keep my, got a minute till we do that, and then that goes black, we go. Um, so yeah, I remember I tried to Google, I have to Google that picture of that, dip, Jim. You've got me intrigued now. So there's been some um, unusual, I say, sashi and body combinations throughout the years. Um, some of that, I, I mean, Luckily, we keep a lot of our rare buses in private uh, in preservation as well, which is great to see that people do that. I mean, I can't believe we've got things now going in uh, preservation like E400. It makes me feel old. I mean, the Northern Bus Preservation site up here does a fantastic job. They've got nationals, they've got renown up there, they've got an eclipse, um, so many good uh, buses in preservation up there. And the but um, I didn't get to it, but I would like to start getting bus rallies again potentially in the near future. Would be a good shout. Um, Father's Day there tends to be a the one at Durham, which is a really good meet up there. And you get a lot of the stuff coming together. And if you've never been to a bus rally or anything, um, definitely worth recommend going to one. 
They have loads of stalls there, loads of old stuff as well as modern day stuff. Um, I don't know um, what it's like down here, but a Reba tent sends stuff up here to them, um, especially big meetups and um, Go North East tent send some stuff as well. We've been on Sunday, obviously, they've got um, the capacity to be able to do that, so which is quite cool to see the main companies get involved as well. I know Reba's up for sale, isn't it? Um, DB Shankman wanting rid of the bus side of it. Wasn't it amazing to think that most of our bus companies now are actually owned by foreign, um, you could say, um, companies like obviously Reba's DB Schenker. And it's crazy to think um, a lot of our companies now like that are owned by um, foreign equities. Um, so, yeah. It's crazy to think, man. Oops. When I'm straight on the driving, not the chat. I will look at that in one second. Thank you. Uh, uh, that is. That is Brandon with six months of membership. Cheers, Brandon, for continued support, mate. Hope you all welcome to the stream, mate. Are you a cracking day? This thing does tend to float a little bit on braking, I've noticed this. I do like right buses on here because they tend to feel heavy, but this one seems to float a little bit more. You've got to be so careful where you, when you're sort of braking, not to start too much steering into you at the same time because it just wants to drag you that way, right there, you see what I mean? It's a little bit more floaty floaty. Let's speed down as he One minute, so I'm gonna bag all yoga and then pull out on me. There. Yeah, there's a more floaty floaty this one compared to say like the Gen 3 version of it, which feels a lot more anchored to the road. Stagecoach were owned by DUS, D, WS Infrastructure, who is mostly owned by Deech, I'm going to try and pronounce that, Deechu, Deechu Bank. They're a Deechu Bank. I think I've totally butchered that. They've got a um, mineral run by along the tram tracks to Meadow Hall. I doubt they'll extend it any further. Yeah, well, good evening, Brad, but well, Jim Brandon wants to stream a German mod. Same as Reba then, um, one by the Germans. Uh, by German uh, equity. I know um, DB Chantner are wanting rid of a Reba, they've been up to sell for eight to the bus side of it. I don't get why these companies buy companies then just when suddenly they're actually, actually you know, with nothing now. I think what it is with Reba, they're not making as much money as DB Chantner would like, I would guess, and sort of, if they can pass that on to somebody, they will. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Come on, that shit, you're killing me, John. I'll look at that in a second once we get there. We'll a safe place where I can. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Gemma, for the super chat. Really appreciate it. It's really kind. I said, this is your Wednesday Omnity show tonight. Tomorrow night will be a night off for us both. Um, just so we can do other things with our lives and then Tom will hook be back on Thursday on the flight same there may be another Ramsey stream before next Monday we'll let you know if there is and then there'll be uh, we'll let you know what the schedule is and everything as of when it sort of unravels let's just say um, and I know it's uh, the quiz jet this Sunday so if you still if you like to take part obviously let Tom know by one of the um, social media channels as well if you want to take part in the quiz this Sunday. It is Quiz Jet Weekend. It's Tuesday when um, I know I keep it's cause I messed up my days because I'm obviously not normally here on a Tuesday so um Oh come on bus XR thank you. 
Yeah, if I said that I knew I meant, I knew what I meant. Just, I'm not normally here on Tuesday, I must, uh, <laughs> My memory is not what it is. It's definitely getting old. Uh, I do like the way this actually rattles and vibrates at the little thing, or doesn't it? We've got the sound effects nailed on this bus. At least I haven't got a 9 indicator tone, which that bus will be coming back in the near future as well. Because I have got some great looking liveries for that one. We have got so many livery packs now for the B7, um, the Volvo B7. It'll be rude not to use it. So sorry Gemma about the indicator. The 9 indicator with the fire alarm. It is coming back to the stream in the near future. Just purely because it's got so many good liveries. It'll be rude not to use it. Right, I'll give them some space here, shall we? We're driving there by the MCCC 200. That looks good in the girls' area. I mean, I'll show Jim that before we finish today as well because um, that is right and ready for next week. We're going to have a McGill's evening for the, Scotland sh for the Scottish lads. So I've got some cracking McGill's liveries now. Some um, MCC 200 McGill's livery looks stunning. It's great, and we've done a cracking job with it on this game with the uh, tinted windows as well. Even the solo scrubbed up well. So we've got some, um, so yeah, we're going to have a McGill's evening for the Scottish lads. Probably do that in Yorkshire, just so I think the setup of Yorkshire would suit McGill's stuff better. What's this? Gemma, Thursday is probably the last stream I'll be to able to see until next month. See if I get the Wi Fi working in the hotel. Of course, Gemma's jetting off soon. I'm off to Grand Canaria Mayor, but doesn't compete. Oh no. Did you say fire alarm way and I would get uh, away on the fire drill? Nope, I've got a feeling you're going to be drilling out with soon. Brandon, off two weeks but not packed yet. We've got a few days to sort everything out. Did someone say fire alarm? Jack hasn't been cooking as he says Brandon. <laughs> oh, Brandon fired. The shot's fired. Don't know where Jack is now but the shot's are fired. Right, let's go. Why are we are there? Because at the moment of the time we're looking at the chat, I'm too busy looking at the chat to concentrate on our timetable driving. Where's he going with the camera? Man? Is that some sort of traveller, do you think? Is there some spare in the land, on? Alright, we're good. So it's not the uh, throughout used to busness in the world. I've got a minute now, I think I'm doing most of the buses now. My two favourite definitely rank now with the Eclipse and the Solo on here. Oh, what the heck was that? Sable. What the hell? What the hell was that? Um, noise? I have no idea. Someone just opened me fire door at the back of it. Fingers crossed, we gem, obviously. Oh, fingers crossed, Gemma. Fingers crossed. Have you been tracking we gem just to see where she is? I think last time I saw her, she was at Heathrow, and that was a few days ago. And was, um, she was coming in, but I don't know where she is at the moment today. It's Jack's fire drill going off. Right. Speaking of fires, it was when moonlighting last night in Kingwood, a huge fire last night, the battery recycling centre about four miles from me. All you could see was explosions all fucking night. Oh, oh my god. No way. What the hell? That wasn't me. You been Jack on that one, Jim. Batteries batteries aren't my thing. <laughs> Cheeky git. Cheeky sub. I only blow up um, buses, remember, not batteries. Jack blows up his kitchen, I blow up engines. 
seems to be the way um, streams go these days. Dad blows up microwaves and ovens, I blow up double decker buses and single decker buses. Especially if they're renowned. And we've got that to use on the game again, we've got to reinstall that back into the system as well. To the uh, displeasure of my uh, mechanics who groaned and moaned when we read and I was like, oh we're bringing the renown back soon. Oh no you're not. Last time you drove one of them, you cut the engine on it. And it was in the middle of winter. Nah, the driving's come on a lot since then. Uh, I remember now not to sort of rev the tit off it to be fair and keep the revs down that way all. Blast from the past there, my roommate was a uni for that, for that place. Jim doing mod work by yourself tonight, look at the chat if we have themselves. We've only got the best on tonight. Sarah was in the chat, don't know she's gone. She should have gone for a pee about 10 minutes ago, I think, so she, I think she must have flushed herself down the loo or something. Well, she's on one long pee. Only best on tonight. The ref raff turn on Thursday, I mean. Whoa, where are you going, Focus? I can see you coming inside of me there, Jesus. Look, I left plenty of space there. Let's give it a speed down. I do enjoy this race, it's one of the better routes on here. What we'll do is when we get back to Terminus, we'll ditch this bus and we'll jump on some elves for what our final run um, and then we'll just go from there, really. Actually, no, because the way Amzi has been here, he's been right, he's saying we'll stick the bus and do a different shot of real thing, so what we'll do just to make sure it doesn't crash on the safe side, I should turn that. I think it seems to be the map where you can swap buses and it doesn't dicky fit out on you. Just thinking the boarding seems more temperamental. It's not a bad bus to drive this, to be fair, the, I mean the ride quality is not bad. And, I mean, it, it, you can chuck it into a corner, which is good. When like this, at the NBFL yesterday, it just seemed to have the acceleration and the friggin' um, custard skin puller. It, it just, it just this, at least this accelerates a little bit. It gets up to about 30 or 40 if you need it to. What's that? What tennis card? What I've flown on it before when I came back to New York today, but it would be nice to do it again. Gems don't think we will ever forget that. It's not easy to pay though an oil through an oil filter win. Oh, for God's sake! That set me wide open. There's an open goal. Gemma just took it. Well done. Well done. Well played, Gemma. Shots fired. Oh dear. Yeah. If you're going to pick the wrong words, you, there are all the words to pick, I know. Oh dear. Gemma says she's now an angel. Mm. Yeah, and I'm, um, Br and I'm Richard Branson. Oh, my legs are Why does my knee just have to do that? It's like... You can tell I'm using the accelerator pedal a lot today because my knee's now going to cramp what when I used accelerate yesterday it was the brake <laughs> let's keep the speed down shall we so this must be uh, Borden's town or city centre is it? Borden is it a city? I'm guessing it's just a town and let's go to London uh, some nice restaurants I know too busy looking at the restaurants to look at where the bus is going when. Jesus. I was about to say, there's no restaurants on the left hand side. Too busy looking at where the, what the restaurants are called. <laughs> right, what do you want to say? Well, you want a one pound ticket? Of course you would. Um, let's have a look. What do you want? You need that. Is it? No. Um, oh, it's there. Sorry, wrong one. 
Put your uh, eyes back in there. There you go, mate. There we are. May I not ask already what work did everyone have for dinner? Good question, we haven't actually asked that. Did you get much food in your way in today? No! But the garden was, as you say, looking like a swimming pool earlier on. I think all the areas the northeast have. Um, we got very waterlogged though. The garden here um, had probably the worst amount of water I've ever seen sitting on top of it. You could see the lawn was just, it wasn't soaking away. So if it hadn't stopped raining when it did, we probably would have been underwater. Um, it was especially the back um, garden, it just was not soaking away from the soil or the lawn. The lawn, you could see it, it just looked waterlogged, drenched, which is sort of, you were like, please stop raining. I'm hoping we get a dryer spell now just to take some of that, at least some of it out of the way. I don't think the ground could physically handle much water, can it now? I know the parts of the North have got flood warnings, especially the coastal areas. I've seen um, it's been bad up in Scotland and it, and other parts of the country, Wales. My heart goes out to all affected. The thing is, all places are flooding now, which don't even have rivers or seas near them because the ground's just that waterlogged. The, the ground just can't drain anymore off, which is kind of frightening in a way. In my back garden, they weren't, just had water everywhere. It was just sitting on top of the grass. You could have splashed and splashed your way through the lawn. And I was thinking, we might be in summer now, come on spring, at least break. So it feels like it hasn't stopped raining since October now. And that's part of the problem we're getting now. The ground's just cannot physically absorb it. Oh. God. Oh, my fault. I tried to move my thing while breaking. That wasn't the cleverest idea I've ever had in the world. Right. Hello. It's the one. Ah, you bugger. Yeah, my knee went to cramp just a little bit. It went long, man. Let's just have a long break. What's that? Sausage casserole and pasta. Who? What mug? 20 mugs and a latte with what mug? Sausage and casserole for. Uh, uh, sorry, sausage casserole and pasta for Lee. Brandon had kids' portion of chicken strips with rice. That's what Carl had. Is Jill your girlfriend? Says Ma uh, Brandon Max. Hope Jill knows you've got her mug. Says Jim. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, Jilly, I forgot your Max Jet TV live. Oh, shots fired. Hashtag justice for Jill. Jilly, I see mug. Hashtag Jill. Justice for Jill going at the mug. Uh, chat. Brand had steak, sweet potato fries, and garlic broccoli thing. Very nice. I had a Mac. I'm not. I'm ashamed to say it now because Max. I actually had a McDonald's. I had two bacon cheeseburgers, large fries, and some chicken nuggets. Um, I could not be bothered to cook tonight, so that was my tea, and it went down very, very well. Do love uh, good old Mackey D's, but unfortunately it's been tarnished by certain persons. Or up the barrels, just getting it and ready for the weekend. <laughs> Gemma's on form. As I said, we will be bringing back the fire alarm smoke detector and try it in the near future. So, um, take, but you just don't worry about. It. Get your earplugs in or something, maybe. Because it's too good not to bring back, especially the livery packs we've got for it now. There's some stunning looking liveries on it. Um, so, apologies in advance for all those who are a little bit on the nervous t side. <laughs> I'm just, I am going to look into a find of a way if there's a way of changing that sound, but it's just less annoying. A bit more like this one where it's just a bit of a click. He's Mavis. The way Jack is tonight. Something right behind us is that I'm guessing. I can see blue, is it? No. Okay, something behind us, maybe it's not. It's 
Get our speed down. Just doing some tree clipping as we go down there. I did see on eBay, um, I was looking through, I did look, even though I'll probably never buy one. There's a tree chopper, um, tree chopper, um, like when the councils tell them where they go around, try chopping all like branches off the trees with little decker buses. And there's actually one on there at the moment for sale. Uh, ELC tried and two and a half grand if anybody's interested. We're not on top tried and we'll see it upstairs to do what the hell you please with. I thought it'd be quite a lot of fun, but I don't think the neighbours appreciate that parked in the street somehow. Welcome back, Sarah. Finally, says Carl. Shots fired. Hope you're well, Sarah. You're on Kraken Tuesday, and he said Wednesday again. I don't even know what day we're on anymore. I'm losing the plot. It's not been a bad bus to drive, I say, I do like, at least it's got a bit of an engine sound like the Gen 3, but the Gen 3 just was more planted to the road. This just seems to want to float itself across the road. Definitely a street, um, handles like a street shite, this does. More and then I would say Gemini does. Come on, get this hill. I know you don't like hills. I'm amazed that they actually have these in the northeast with all the amount of hills that we have as well. You'd think they'd be better suited buses out there than the uh, street decks, but no, going northeast went down that route. No wonder they keep breaking down every two minutes. I'm just going to move those pedals up so slightly. Mm. The pedal button at the moment. Uh, Max Careful, what that stream rides can be difficult at events. Can be difficult at events like that. A flood distraction is a good distraction, sir. A food distraction is a good I think said flood there. A food distraction is a good distraction, says Sarah. I might look into that in that, that into live stream on Jill's and Barrow match. Yes. Okay, man, friends, well, no, no, he's trying to stream it. <laughs> Nonsense. Alright, let's go on the yeah, journey. Come on, bus, let's get away from that stop, shall we? So we rent my jacksy. Red, uh, pistach that looks away. So we are also going to be adding, when I do get this exit set, I've got untapped hard driving now, I just need to switch everything over to it. Um, new AI packed people and traffic, so we can have a bit of a mixture that will uh, thing up. Shake things up. Also looking to, in the next couple of weeks also to introduce a new road sim, base sim, um, to this ch channel, which I'm saying nothing on at the moment. Um, a few years now I already know what it is, um, which will be a lot of fun. Um, also has multiplayer aspect to it, so we can have some multiplayer nights which will be quite cool as well. Where's he just come from? Is he just tapped is he just got tapped on now? Jesus. That's took him a while, didn't it? Get over there, stay over there. Horrible bus though, this one just has a once the floor over to the right. And uh, unusual uh, bit this the road. It just seems a bit pointless we do this but They've done a cracking job of the scenery on this though, I mean, like, I'm like a randomly placed caravan all left. Brilliant, nice sort of foresight to make it look as realistic as possible. He's nervous. How's she been? Is that her caravan, do you think? Hold on. I can't roll it in the stops this one, it just seems to be either all of them the brakes, it's weird. It'd be interesting to see if anyone watches this football stream. 
more watch this live streams. Ouch, double shots by him, eh? Well done. A uh, little good strong glass of council pop says Gemma. Happy have a fire and nobody watching. It's nobody it's one of those things that will buy sugar drinks from years ago, I know it. What we're on about, we weren't to say well ago about a map abroad. Yes, I keep forgetting about that. Um no I haven't. It's just down in memory, Carl. Um just get, once we get the memories sorted out. Um, I'm looking at that French map that we're talking about um, as a possibility. It's a freebie, so it's definitely a goer. Um, just keep reminding me on about that because I do keep forgetting about that as well. It just keeps slipping my mind. So, yeah, I'm um, looking at going to France. It's just been that m lack of memory for me now. I've got one terabyte. Um, John will be moving everything over to the drive for me either this week or the weekend after. Um, so we will be sort of, and then that'll be one of the, just remind me on to do that when I get the PC back, uh, along with the iPad, pack. so it's definitely something I've got to do. Oops, I can see her there, I'll sort you out when the next bus stop. It's too busy, I'm too busy looking at the chat. Yes, I know you want a ticket, a £7 one, and you've been stood there for probably for a while. Whoops. I'll, uh, sort you out in a minute. It's my fault not paying attention. Yeah, French map, um, with the Mercedes, was it M.A. on Mercedes, wasn't it? Um, keep reminding me about that, as soon as we get the memory, I'll definitely stick that in, so I'd actually, I think, be yeah, enjoyable, that. I'm also looking at that, a uh, couple of, another, uh, a Berlin one, that was the one, I was also looking at as well, for European stuff. Right, you want the day road ticket, hang on, let me get her sorted out. Right, there you go, I should take it. No. Evening Dom, all English war. Welcome to the stream, hope you're well. Panda Pop was in the miniature bottles. Oh god, yes. Chatham Spring Water, the yum yum says Tom. <laughs> right, I bet I'd be off. Should be able to stay around for longer on the next one. Been real busy lately. Take care, Brandon. See you all so take see you soon. Take care and Max is gone for the second time this evening. Good night, God bless. Sweet dreams. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, just keep reminding me on about that French map because I definitely want to do that. Also, one in Berlin as well. I've seen that I like. So, um, yeah, just keep reminding us about that. As soon as we get the memory sorted, we're good to go for most of the things. There's also another UK map I'm looking at, or two of them looking at potentially. Um, Scunthorpe being one, and a Shire map uh, for the Gill stuff. Um, so we can do that as well. It's just that um, both maps require a lot of um, folders for them to operate, independent folders, so um, it just comes down to memory again. So, um, yeah, we'll plenty of, um, I know so I've now installed a shitload of new liveries, buses, new buses. Oh, what's, oh, don't tell me you've crashed. Not now, Amzi. No, it's just lagged a little bit. I don't know it's done that. Come on. Well, yeah, I liked it the worst puzzle more, you can pick your break in there. Oh, what a nightmare that was. Tell me you can still get Panda Pop in the local shops. Yes, I've seen it. Uh, we've got, um, I think you'd probably get it on eBay as well, won't you, Panda Pop? Blue, is it Bubblegum? Bubblegum was my favourite Panda Pop flavour. Bubblegum and Cherry Aid. The two classics, weren't they? The colour I was tested weak. After cut during the Coca Cola or the Panda Pop. Let's speed down. 30. Yeah, bubblegum. Yeah. Oh, now you want me, bo want me a bottle of that now, actually. You used to get it from the ice cream around um, outside the school. Tom may be saying overnight here at X Airport if you want to meet up, I'll buy you a pint. Even, even Tom, I hope you are well. What, are you flying? Are you at work, mate? What's the crack? What's that? They yeah, all just like done in their lives. A bunch of other subs. Look, concentrate on what the lights are doing, man. No way, I'm, uh, I'll take you up on that, says the dog, the end. So, oh. 
So yeah, I was trying to think. Uh, yeah, just keep reminding me on how definitely, definitely for the French map. As soon as we get this, this all. So what's happening is I'm getting my what's on the C drive cloned over to the um, the new terabyte, one terabyte uh, hard drive. So um, just for you who don't know, because I've had so many issues with Omsi in the past, it'd be probably the safer option to do that. At the moment, I've currently got around about 12 gigabytes left on my C drive, which isn't a great place to be, to be fair. So, we're just trying to get that sorted over the next week or so. Uh, this week or next week, I'll let you know. But he's going to have a PC for the weekend, do everything. When he comes back, it opens so many more potential. Also, looking at Scunthorpe as a map. Apparently, it's got a lot of circles on there you can do. Also, looking at Strapashire. Which is a small uh, pixel map, map based in Scotland, which I thought would be nice to do, especially with and so many Scottish members on our channel as well. It'd be nice to sort of do some of them as well. But again, just both files take up a lot of in like what they call um, make up of the whole um, map. So you've got to have certain maps to operate, certain maps, and vice versa, and the scenery objects and stuff like that. So it's just all down to memory, really. So, is everybody up here, I think. We are back at where we started, Hereford Station. We're pulling around to the bay. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't see you guys getting off there. Keep swimming upstairs, we are. Alright, get around to the bus stop. We're pulling back to Hereford Station, oh. We'll do what we did before, we'll have two minutes here. Before we head back out and decide where we're going, so before we have we'll go on. Let's swing this in. Nobody left on that anywhere, so I'm not going to worry about that. Right, ah. that, and that is return journey done that run. Yes, I know because I was taking it easy and I was doing the chat. Ten minute window, I'll take it. Just over the ten minute, I will take that. Within my ten minute window, right? Let's have a break there. Switch the electric socks. I know it'll need a restart when we want to restart it back up. Right. Off there. So let's just have a first second. Right. Let's get that timetable for the four or eight. And change our destinations all there, uh, four or eight. Uh, let's have a look, where are we? Four or eight, four or eight. Uh, up the station, change that all there. Right, uh. Yes. All right, we'll have two minutes just to chill and. Uh, Actually, look at the time. Yeah, we'll have to, and then because we didn't start, we started a bit there, so this will be probably our last run. Um, so we'll look what we got for it. Terminus have a station. No, I probably stay. Terminus. Uh, no. Terminus I probably station. That's the one we want. About twenty minutes long. That will do nicely. That will that will take us to the end of the stream. Bray is August 3rd. Whoops, says Sarah. Is that what the uh, air show, Sarah? X Airport sounds like fun, not to say non existent. Meanwhile, in the latest series, everybody's wrong with flight sim. Can't get the bastard thing working tonight. Oh, Tom, nightmare. I'm not sure what yet time because my sister's wedding is possible holidays. So I'll keep you updated. But yeah, I hope you well, 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 I hope you are well done. Um, good to see you. Where are you at the moment? Are you in the country? Are you out of the country? All right. So anybody who's just joined us this is what we are on tonight. We're on board the Go North East Remembrance Day Library Street Deck. Um, not a lot to say about it. I've already said. Um, remembering all who served and sacrificed and changed our world, thank you, Go North East. This bus is based at Gate of Depot, it's street number 6333, based on a right bus street deck. Proper street deck, you can tell it's got the glass partition down the side here, which is quite smart actually. They do look good, these street decks, in some aspects of them. It's just a shame they handle like a sack of 
poo in real life and they don't like hills basically there's uh not in cranny with these but yeah so let's see what time we do out of here get a timetable up um 40 15 40 so plenty of time then we have two minutes here and then we'll get on our way oh knee keeps going in the cramp again and we'll have a day away from the we'll cook test away from the semi cell actually but yeah um i'm trying to think that Carl, will you do me a favour? Remind me which one it was. It was the, it was definitely the French one, wasn't it? We were looking at um, at freebie, wasn't it? That is just to make sure. I mean, I am re remembering that right. So my memory these days seems to lack in certain departments. Right, come on, typical. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't start back up again. What do you think? Right, right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Still have a fucking dry ammo. Get over. Right, it's going to stop the board it up. Right. So I head down to Apple B Station where we will finish. About a 20 minute run from here. Alright, let's get the time forward as well. And a little bit. If you want to take it with your one two pound, there you go. You need three, thank you. I do love the easy ticket, it's so simple to use. I've really got a grip to these now. Nice ticket machine, um, cash layout on the tray as well makes life a lot easier. Right, I don't want you standing because it's plenty of seats, love. Take a seat, will you? Anything else getting on last minute? Make sure I'm not I've cleared everybody up. Right, let's get moving. Which one went? Did, didn't hear what you said. Oh, the French map. It was the freebie. It was the freebie one that we were looking at that we found. Um, French map we were looking at, weren't we? It was the freebie. I'm just making sure my mind was on the right pit, in page there. So, um, as soon as like I said we get the memory to do all this, I'm going to stick that one in. Also, look at that Berlin one, which has got a nice um, bendy bus on it, which would be quite could, looks really good. Could be quite a lot of fun actually. Um, quite a recent addition as well to Omzi, to new uh, release in recent time uh, the world. So uh, remember now we're on the four eight, not four five nine. It's gonna be a busy run, but looks of it. Daydream of holidays as a kid in the Bully State, Sal Salerton. I think I've just butchered that, if not, I said pronouncing that I might not, my strong point. Exodus, says Tom. Food destruction again, Sarah. So I'm quick at the chat, have fun, Dom. Country, currently in work, night shift. Have a good shift, Dom. Airports on. Chair, I uh, missed anything. Apologies, guys, as usual. I'm trying to make sure we're not crashing into uh, walls. Alright. Head down to Apple B Station. I enjoy this little bit around this map here. It's quite good fun, it's a little sort of twisty bit. And I only have a 40 400 on this, so this is going to be a little bit of a. I don't know if it's an upgrade on that. No, I wouldn't say a Street Dex is an upgrade on E400. It's about equal. Both of them are, were piles of rubbish on that day. Jesus. Getting good passenger numbers here. What do you want, sir? You want the tango? There you go. Okay, thank you. Simple maps, I like it. Right, let's go. Four, eight. Right, where are we going? Four, eight, we're going right here. Double check myself on that one. Six, four, four, five, nine. So, yeah. 
Yeah, that's a win right here. I wonder if we do a circle and then head out a different way. I wonder if we're doing it. I've done this route before actually, but there's one. Where we come in on the uh, four five nine usually, so I'll reach straight ahead. Interesting little run, this one. Ah, uh, Max is uh, done again. Sarah's got in this time. Good night, good bless you. He's out of here. <laughs> right. Be a busy run this one. Did you have a good one today, Max? It's going for a friend. Actually, the delete option was probably the better call, uh, says Mark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Tom planning to take the new Agony route from Edinburgh to Guernsey, then get over to Jersey. The, the Blue Islands to Exit and then Logan back to Edinburgh. Wow, that sounds cool, Tom. Uh, sorry, Tom. Uh, Tom. Um, sounds like a mega uh, little hall of lights, that. Eesh. It's hard having two days on the bounce. My brain's fried already on the second stream. Um, it's getting murdering. I can do what. Oh, maybe it's not. I was gonna say, I'm gonna do a gender cast and you speed! But then it's not. I've got the twins getting on here. Oh, yeah. He's, not, he's happy, he's with them two, I swear. I'll leave it at that. Alright, let's go. Cheers, uh, buttons on, you can have two at the horn for that. The pathetic horn that they give us on this uh, street deck. So yeah, when we're back next um on the stream will be McGill's. Definitely gonna do McGill's deliveries. I will show that off before we finish the day. Just to give you a quick preview of what is coming. 804, we're going right straight on more or less. Yeah, that will be so all the signs. Alright, a little bit of suburban country driving. Let's get a put down. This bus will actually do anything more than 30 miles an hour. Let's find out. Oh, damn. A little more country driving. This is more like it. I to give you. Shit. I had a feeling those people go, Why are you stood in the road? Get back on the curb! Jesus! You, you, you kill yourselves! Right. Bloody hell! Get back on the curb, will ya? Yeah, if you like what you see in please do hit that like button, guys. It really helps the channel in more ways than you can imagine. Right, so we're not. Tomorrow we are having a day off. Um, Tom's back on Thursday with the flight, Sam. Don't forget, it is also quiz chat this weekend. If anyone wants to take part, please let Tom and I know about why they're on the social media channels. Um, medias, shall I say, messages, part ones. Um, we also got plenty of new content coming in the near future. As always, me and Tom are planning behind the scenes. Um, so hopefully, Tom will be back on Thursday. I'll fight Sim. I might do some ones here a bit before Monday. If not, it will be in the McGill's stuff. Um, I think, Tom, you plan on doing today's flight on uh, Thursday with the Phoenix 320, was it? Um, potentially, I don't know what the plans are. Uh, and obviously, we'll let you know how to do cars or what happens over the weekend. But plenty of content always coming on the channel. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to uh, the Parcher Lounge. We do things differently on this channel. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that, that like button. Yeah, let's keep the speed down. We're seeing a lot of people getting on and off here, aren't we? 
Men det gav man ner, ner, och sang och en stort. Så Agros kunde du ha, ja. Så Agros har inte någon kompa i sig. Thanks everybody for joining us all as usual you support and everybody you guys are legends as usual. Thanks. Tommy and me need to get a doctor's just to check all the way. Hope I have, I have a good one, struggling to breathe while I was trying to rest at work. You know, it's like a good one. Oh, this channel is awesome I don't know. Ooh. This channel is awesome I don't know how to. Do it, judge it, juggling work and but thank you. Oh Jessica, thank you for kind words. Um it's Tom's baby and it, it I, I like I said I admire what he does because I find it ha tiring when we do a stream. I'm just a filling guy who just helps out and but I, I do love the channel of our community. I think we've got one of the best communities on YouTube ever. Um the vibe that you always get on the channel, we have a good laugh, we just we don't care about ourselves serious. We do things differently, that's what I enjoy. And to be given the platform to do this for you guys and sort of host my own show on here, we, we doing this, it's absolute privilege, it really is. It makes up for all the hard work and all the stress and the hair pulling that goes into Omzi because it can be a very temperamental game at times, as such as the fight sim is. But it's worth it. It really is. I hope you're feeling better soon, mate. I've just read that. Um, I'm not say that. Like you say, get yourself to the doctors if you need a signal, get one. It's, I mean, you've got a stress, I mean, a hard job. Um, but. Right, left here. That's a nice little part of the map. I'm not going on after that before. Alright, we'll clear. We'll go up. Yeah, thank you so much for kind words, Jessica. It means a lot. And thank you for joining us. Um, you're welcome. You're one of our community, and it's a privilege. Um, it goes both ways. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, and vice versa. And I mean, it's uh, thank you for supporting us. It really does mean the world. I mean, I'm still finding my way with the streams. I'm still trying to find my own style of presenting so I'm not just copying up people, other people and trying to do this and present a show while trying to drive on his you can see sometimes where I might hit a curb or something because I'm looking at the chat or something it takes a lot of concentration London last night I said to Tom when we came up I, I was knackered London is an unusual beast with you've got to watch so much going on with the stream you've got you're looking at the chat you're looking at three or four lanes of traffic mirrors you constantly stop and starting because there's no like sort of here where I can sort of quick look down at the chat, have a breather in between bus stops. London doesn't give you that. It was a, definitely a challenge to stream London yesterday, but it, it was a good one though. Um, I'm pleased it worked as well. But here, like here, I can have like I pull into a bus stop and I have two minutes for you guys, and not, but London you can't do that. It's very full on. I'm going to put some chest muscles and cough in the man clothing so I best get it checked out. What shows? That's why they might be looking for another person to bring some shows for the channel. Ooh! Ooh! Spoiler! We might be looking for another person to bring some shows to the channel. Ooh! Now he's like a cattle bag. Even I don't know this one, guys. Go on, you gotta tell us now. Uh, we we still look. Are we in the uh, looking process still? So he says to that. I was letting that cat out the bag. That one. Are we in negotiation stages with that person? Early doors, maybe.
it's, I know, I mean, it does take a lot doing these shows, and I know like, on my side, it's just sort of, um, sometimes you've got to share out the uh, workload to the people. You know, dreams, Max, I can love these kind of things, but looking for so much, for some more, some more simulator style shows to ease my work a little bit. Mmm. What? I mean, I'm going to hopefully bring another road based simulator. Um, I'm looking to bring Transport Fever back to the channel. Um, that's another one that will be coming back. It's not, we're not doing it, it's just. Obviously, all my resources recently, you understand, has gone into getting this working. But with now I've got the resource and the memory side to be able to do these things, these things will be coming in the coming weeks. I say, I say, Tom's always working behind the scenes to do different content for you guys. I know how hard he works. I'm always in discussions with him myself with different things, what we're doing, what we're doing, etc., etc. I mean, we just don't turn up and just rock up and do these. I mean, I'm always. I mean, at the weekend I was banging in with delivery packs and seeing what we could do for the coming weeks. Think what might people like and trying to get variety, which is always important with Ramsey, I think, to make sure we didn't, so we don't copy what we did last stream. Nobody has said anything about stream Max for that, and he's gone. What you've done for the night? Good night, Max. See you tomorrow. Oh, God. Ah, you left that late in the day, didn't you, love? Are you getting off or not? Alright, hang on. Alright, I'm clear. Keep an eye on this is where it gets a bit solid, where you got to have your wits about you because the number is solid, but all at the same. We go left here. But yeah, I know how much work goes into these streams, there's a lot of planning and etc. goes into them. Um, it does, it, it, there's other simulators out there I know people crying out for. Um, so this is just one stage one with the plans. We've got stage two and stage three coming shortly with other road based simulators. Um, if anybody, if anybody is interested, I don't know if I can. I'm speaking out here, Tom. Where if you are interested in doing some on the channel, message Tom. Um, if you've got a simulator that you're good at and you would like a showcase. Um, don't feel nervous about it, honestly. If I can present the show, anybody we can. Nice bit of thrash there. I did like enjoy it. That sounded good. From the uh, spot, that sounded really good actually. Right, oh, all right. I know where we're going here. The railway station, by the looks of it. I don't know to read that about twice. But what? That sounds wrong. Oh god, Gemma. Let's show some love for Tom and Wayne, all the mods, all the shit. Thanks, Carl. Gemma, town, town. I mean, what are you talking about? Will Willis says Sarah. Flattery doesn't welcome you, Sarah. Oh god, what's happened? Brian. Eh? Uh, what did I miss? I was too busy uh, passing down the country lane. Right, all routes. I 
This is tight around this part. Ooh. Get around that way, aren't it? And then, brilliant. Right, and we nearly. We are all well. Welcome, David. Welcome to the stream. Evening, mate. Hope you've had a great day. Welcome to the stream, David. I hope you've had a cracking, cracking Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday show in a way. Um, you can enjoy a bit of normal TV tomorrow. Don't hate us, right? Um, it's scheduled this week. It's looking like Tom back on Thursday. I might do some before next Monday. We are going to do some McGill stuff, so I'm really excited to bring you that. Um, also, um, I'm going to be doing some work over the weekend at installing a new simulator into the PC ready for uh, introducing that as well. New road based simulator to give us a little bit of variety. I think you'll enjoy that. It's got a multiplayer aspect. I'll consider the word Stobart, and you'll know what I'm about when I say Stobart, what kind of simulator we are talking about. Um, I know Jim will like it, and other, uh, a few others actually have it, so you're going to be able to join us on the multiplayer. I've just got to learn how to play the thing yet, which will be interesting. Me with the Arctic truck, Jim, I can hear Jim thinking, no way, no. What's up? What? What? Think of the possibilities of it. So yeah, um, we've got that coming in the near future. Um, looking at aspects of that. So and obviously, Omzi will still be on the cards. It'll just be separated. There'll be a little bit more variety. It's there. Uh, back on Thursday, something has happened. So it's and right. If not, I'll go as jump in and. Um, obviously we'll let you know that guys and don't forget it's quiz weekend if you're interested in taking part in the quiz please let Tom know via one of our social media channels um, on the avenues a message, drop a message if you'd like to take part in the quiz if you haven't done the quiz yet please please all I'm going to say is do it it is so much fun I was so nervous when I first went on and did any show now look at me I'm here posting me on the show Tom will look after you, I promise. It's such a fun little two I've done it all. I mean, the first timers out there, you will have so much fun doing it. And when you'll get, and you'll be back. You, I mean, I always said I would never do the quiz. And I've done it a couple of times now, so. Yeah, um, honestly, so yeah, please consider doing it and jumping on. I'll be on the quiz. But I'll be 37 times on the so I can't take part this time. Aye, Gemma's gonna be uh, up in the air uh, over the Atlantic. I'm in there, uh, probably on a fifth glass of wine or a fifth bottle, well, I'll say a glass, more like a bottle um, by that point. She might be a little bit uh, cross eyed by that point as well. Right, 
just got my wits around here on this way a bit more there, but let's get the speed down to 30. Come on, I'm leaving here. Just lagging a little bit now, so we're in the built up area. It's Casper! Jesus! They loaded in that last day, didn't they? Quite a busy run up to the uh, last part of this. Can't be far away now. Hello? Good afternoon? Alright. The choice of a decor on this road. It's plenty on it. A bit more power than what we had last night, thank god. Got a straight ahead, brilliant. Left or right here? Straight on. This is like one of the main uh, road connectors, isn't it? But lots of it, sort of routes. Right. No way, whiskey, no way, so whiskey. Only six. Okay, fifth. I'm, I'm being generous there. Sorry, Gemma. Okay, fifth crate then. Did you order your own supply of personal alcohol on board? Just have a quick look at the chat there. I, no board on board Wi Fi, Gemma. Plus, I've got to come back from another battle of your other so I don't want to do it. Sure, I remember trying to send. What's up, my mum on board Norwegian Airlines? And it wasn't hugely successful. <laughs> oh. All right. What's that? Good passenger numbers are we on here? Yeah. Well, quite rough actually. That's never a good thing to do when we move in. I'll uh, wait till we stop before I cock it up completely. I don't know if he finds us guys at the moment, but it's definitely not near the bus. Can't be far away now to our last stop. I'm stopping, don't worry. He's looking at the face like, you can just try to shoot past me. Alright, so we look at our passenger loads. Decent passenger numbers on this run. Like that, you can watch him getting up to run up the stairs, that was quite cool. Alright. What's that, what's red about Jaxi, or is it Friars? I can't to see. Straight as the fly crows on this, uh, straight as the crow flies on this road. Seems like we've been stuck to one road for the majority of it. Nice little run. So I think we're nearly there now. I think, um, yeah, Ealing Lane. We we'll go through this section and we're at the bus station. I think. I don't know if I have 10 minutes, I think. He says. Yeah, if Tom's up, I'll jump in and do some McGill stuff. Um, let's say, then we'll um, we'll shake it up a little bit. Bring London back as well, obviously, because it was a great success last night and it didn't go down well. So well, we now know it works, thankfully. So I'm really pleased about that and relieved at the same time, to be honest with you. So um, and then I will get busy at the weekend. Um, Uninstalling, uh, reinstalling some I um, game a new sim, shall I say? Pretty word teeth back in way. Uh, what the hell? Invisible cars? What's going on here? Eh? Oh, what's the chat? Yeah, well, bus is looking very full. It is. And we've got Casper. I don't know what's going on with the textures here, but. <laughs> the cars have gone invisible. Love it. There we are. 
Oh, Jesus. The game's on a meltdown on Black Peugeot's. Casper cars, Jesus. Floating Peugeot 206s uh, or whatever they are. Love it. Only an Omsi. Welcome to the Omsi. Well, well, wacky world of Omsi traffic. Even when they're not moving, they're still causing hell. Yeah, it's going to be quite a busy run the second half. Welcome to uh, uh, Stream Aviation Crew. About to buy a FSS E Jet E17175. Welcome to the stream. Hope you had a great uh, trip. This is quite tight in the Doing a bit of tree lobbing here, aren't we? Oh, wow, this is kind of tricky, nice stuff. Or whatever it is they've got uh, around their uh, boredom. It's going on with the invisible car suddenly. Games are going to meltdown for more for these cars. <laughs> Stop is our last, I think. This is just pure laziness. What do you want? Oh, a ticket and see you stood there. Whoops, how long have you been there? Alright, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. The ticket machines are not down as well. Oh, this is going well. Alright. So, why is my ticket machine gone? Completely gone now. Um, Ah, oh, worry about that. So the two machines had a meltdown and switched itself up. Handy. Look at where our last stops. There we are. It's rebooted itself. The well, car's going invisible. This is going well towards the end of the stream. I'm doing a 24 hour long flight stream on Thursday. Wow. Good luck with that. Hope it goes well. Marathon stream there for aviation crew. Give me a show, show me a bit of support on Thursday, guys. Right, they changed. Right, welcome to Appleby bus station, guys. Straight around. I wish I'd stop that. It's not, it's not there. Are we straight in the bus station? Are we? Are we? Are. He's in our stand actually. So what I'll do. Right, it's, it's a lot of Right. And that is it. This, this thing is shut down. Um switch the electrics off. Thanks so much for, again for all your support. Um that has been our vehicle of choice. I don't know why everyone's still sitting on board, but hang on, let me do some out here. Yeah, the game's decided to have a meltdown as well, just right on point. Thank you, OMZ. Um, just quickly do something, let's get this in that in service. 
Okay, let's kick this rowdy bunch off. Uh, Clear them off. I don't know how clear my ticket machine's just gone off. That's just weird. But yeah, we'll leave it there. Um, back on, hopefully, uh, whatever. It might be before Monday, and um, we'll let you know. We're going to do some McGill stuff. Um, I will quickly run that up on the screen before we go, just to give you a quick preview of what's coming on the next stream. We have got a a beautiful looking girls MZC two hundred to use, um, which I'm looking forward to, um, and a solo, which if it's gonna load up, yeah, never mind. Um, but we'll uh, is it gonna? Load? Yeah, I'm just had a complete meltdown, just right at the end. Oh well, right. It's been a cracking stream, guys. What can I say? Thank you for your support as always. Ah, uh -huh. right. Is it gonna let me though? Hmm. Uh, 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 it's a nice master stuff, but yeah, quickly show, just a quick one for Jim, just to show him this, um, and then we'll get on our merry way, thanks again for all your support guys, all the likes, the subs, and remember we're not on tomorrow, back on Thursday, Could he, if the wind's, hopefully it'll be Tom the lights, and worst case scenario to me, on this again, on this, um, we'll be using the normal, obviously, the non-electric non version, but, um, um, uh, is it the corporate one we're looking for? Just look at that. Yeah, we'll be on board this. Um, on next stream, we're gonna have a bit of a Scottish theme. McGill's liveries does look good, that with the tinted windows and everything. So, yeah, that is it, really. Thanks again for all the likes, so subs, donations, any all the support. Just being here, you guys being amazing selves as usual. I will see you all soon. Take care. Have a fantastic Wednesday. We and then Jim Words, you can't be done, can't be good, just don't get caught. Take care guys, see you all soon. Thanks, bye for now.